more about featured images. So let's go ahead and look at what the featured image is. And right now what we're looking at is that blog post block, which is rendering a series of blog posts that have been uh, published. And you can see the impact of the featured image and how it um, contributes to the general appearance of a page or a post wherever you've put this. The featured image on an individual post can be huge. And that's a standard engineered reality to how this um, post has been set up by WordPress and how that image, that featured image, impacts the general appearance of a typical post. You do have some play with this. And this is something that will be on the, it's, uh, the setup side of you creating images for your featured images of your website. Let's explore what that is. So one of the first questions is, how big should this image be? And what you'll notice is just the, how big this image spans from left to right uh, on the post's screen. One of the things to understand is that in the engineering of this website, um, what is formulated, what is, what is feeding the engineering is something called a theme, a T-H-E-M-E, -E, the theme of the site. WordPress provides a number of themes for anybody working in a WordPress account. And um, what you want to do is understand that each theme brings with it its own engineering. A lot of the themes are similar, so it's not like they're so completely different from each other. But let's first explore what the theme is and what information you can see with the theme, which, which should help determine initially what the size, at least what the width size of an image might be for your post. To do that, what we're going to do is go over to the general dashboard of your site, and we're going to go down to the appearance component of your dashboard. When you just hover over that, you're going to see the word themes. Also, if you click on appearance, that um, drop down turns into being a fixed menu right below its topic. So you see themes here. So let's go ahead and click on themes. And what gets loaded on the right hand panel is the themes component of the, of the WordPress website. Every site that you make has a themes component as part of it. And it is the case in order to make a website, you must have a theme selected. Now, we have Zoologist as the theme. Most of you should see this. One or two of you may have a different theme altogether. The point being is whatever theme is loaded here has an info page, which is right here. So you want to come over, click on the info page, and this info page gives you a nice sort of preview of how the site looks on a large scale screen, mobile, and tablet, but it also has information that it likes to provide you, which you can read through. If you scroll to the very bottom of any theme info page, you're going to come to this little gray box here. In it, you will see some dimensional information specific to that theme. What it's telling us is the typical, let's see if I can get there, the typical width of the post, which is this width here, is 664 pixels wide. These are only widths. You'll notice width is, width is. The height is rarely, if ever, provided because the height can be any dimension, but the width is set. So therefore, if we want an image that we want to span the width of a column, our image needs to be at least 664 pixels wide. And that is to say, this image here, if I wanted it to be full span, should be sized to be at least 664 pixels wide. The second line item is also important, which is the wide width of the page. The maximum width of the page is 1128. And what this means is that this, this image would want to be, since it's a featured image, would want to be sized to be at least 1128 in its width dimension. If it were 1400 or 1600, that too would be ideal because WordPress will fit the larger dimensioned images into this maximum space of 1128.
So this is very informative for us because this gives us the ability to anticipate how to set up ourselves with featured images. Now what I want to just illustrate is that you have the ability to to uh, control the general appearance of your featured images with some setup. So let's see what that means. I'm going to go ahead and click on this particular post's featured image, go to the media library, and I have a couple things set up here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the first image, load it, and update it. Let's look at it. Okay. So one of the things I've done is just start off the bat with utilizing that 1128 maximum width and instead just having a simple dimensioned uh, image brought forth at 1200. So I don't have to chase after those tiny little uh, pixel dimensions. Instead, I just round it up to 1200 and work with that. So what you'll notice immediately is that WordPress renders this image appropriately to exactly what it's been given, which is a square image. And I put the dimensions right here, 1200 by 1200. So it already is different from all the others because all the others were scaled at a, a 900 pixel height and I'll show you what that means in a second. But if I wanted to, I could set up my website so that all my featured images are square. And if that's the case, based on the zoologist's um, themes specifications, in order to get an ideal featured image setup, I would basically use that uh, at least 1128 across in my case, I chose to, to be 1200 and then any height I want. So this is 12 by 1200 by 1200. We can go ahead and replace this with a different sized. This one is 11 by 9, excuse me, 1200 by 900. We're going to update and look at it. Okay, so you can see that I used 1200 by 900 for all the other featured images I've been using up until now. Now let's also look at a smaller image. This image, I went ahead and used the exact same image, but I sized the uh, vertical height to be 550. Okay. It is the case if you choose to make your featured image with a, um, a smaller height, it will affect the general appearance of it amongst others. So that if you choose to have less of a featured image on your post, it is something you'd want to anticipate or revise all your other posts to match. Now let's look at this um, shorter image in the actual post. So now we have a, a much less impacting image because our height is smaller and as WordPress has loaded this featured image in to to um, meet its full width uh, specification the height the fact that I have um, changed the height to a, a narrower or less high dimension has provided me the ability to have a featured image that is smaller and therefore uh, manageable to my eye in the, at this moment for the rest of my post's content. Okay, so as you continue on, featured images are something to think about and to potentially even control based on your viewpoint of whether your pages and posts that use the featured image or have them installed within them are something that you can control through the setup of the image and then the use of the image. Now the last thing I just want to mention is the media library. You'll notice in the media library that it renders all shaped images exactly the same in this cropped square appearance. One of the things I do is when I make featured images which is a much larger image to work with, I um, label or name each image with the word feet, F-E-A-T. If you notice as I um, hover over this image, you see the first four letters of the image title as feet. Now what this does is I can now go into my search mechanism in my media library, type in feet, 
and hit return. And what I see are those images that are that I have labeled with the uh, word feet or short for featured, which then gives me a edited selection that I can use so that when I go to use featured images throughout my site and, and I know that these particular ones are sized appropriately to the width of the site based on that theme's dimensional width recommendations. So this too is a really nice uh, thing to consider that not only do you set up your images for featured image use but to consider labeling your files to have the word feet in it or featured in it so that they're easy to find within this matrix that WordPress uh, provides. Now to basically get out of your search all you do is come over to this X, click on X, and now you're back to the full uh, rendered selection of images for your site. Okay, so consider these types of dimensional impacts to the presentation of your site. It's certainly not necessary for this course, but certainly as you start to think of the professional site you'll be uh, creating for yourself after this course, this type of setup is something that can certainly uh, present itself in a very professional manner as you continue on working with featured images within your pages and posts.